please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Morning folks and welcome to another episode and again we are back up to Scotland so I thought I'd let you tag along with me. Uh, I've got 20 jobs to do in mm, seven days. Uh, conditions today are splendid, vans at 99% state of charge, fully loaded in the back, it's got brake discs, pads, umpteen pollen filters and we have got 182 miles to drive to my first job which is Newcastle up on Tyne and then from there I'm going somewhere else now it's not that it was bad planning it's just that jobs drop on afterwards so initially I tried to fill a week with about 10 to 12 jobs uh, and then I uh, I get other people add jobs on as time goes on and it, it you try and cater for as many people as you can so that's why it's worked out like this so yes uh, 182 miles it's a trek um, and well let's just get on with it i'll see you at my first job okay welcome back i am on an instavolt charger at uh, ballantyne's health club uh, surprising actually that one is out of order but i've jumped on this one so one of the older 50 kilowatt units now i was going to stop at scotch corner um but unfortunately all the ecotricity chargers were being used and there was somebody waiting and it looked like a bit of a mess so i just drove in and drove out and then this is about nine miles down the road so i managed uh, if we look there 157.5 miles and i got here with seven percent state of charge so that's done quite well and i'm back up to 29 miles at the moment and 25 percent. so looking okay so I've got about 36 miles to go from here uh, to my first job and then I've got a humongous trek from there right across the other side to Scotland. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, I'll see you at my first job. All right, thanks. So this is my first job done. Uh, fans just there. It's not wanted for a lot, fog lighting up. Um, and actually we found that the offside rear spring was broken. It's been broken for a while because it's all rusted over. So been like that for plenty of time but um the guy wants to sort that out himself so nice easy job to do anyway apart from that it's in excellent condition a really really nice nissan leaf this so from here we're going to scotland so we're over to ayrshire um i've got a job in maypole maybowl tomorrow um and that's about 190 miles away so a good trek so i need to pull my finger out and get going because i think it must be about five half five now also, they've looked after me. Look at that chocolate chip, chocolate chip rocky cakes and squash and tea and all that business. So it's been good. Hospitality is amazing. Right, I'm gonna get off up the road and uh, get to Scotland. So see you in a bit. So I've stopped just here at these Instavolts. Uh, we're at a retail park somewhere, Dumfries, I think. Uh, we've got a KFC over there, which is nice and convenient. That means I'm gonna go and get my dinner. If I show you the app now, you can see there that it's charging away nicely. Oh, Cuckoo Bridge, that's where we are. And let's tap that, and 36p so far. It's gone up to 40p a kilowatt hour, but you know what? I'm not even fussed. As long as I can charge, I'm not bothered. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get myself some dinner and I probably will see you tomorrow. Uh, I am in Maypole, Bowl. I can never remember the name. Uh, I'll just show you where we're at on the van so far. If you can see that, so 364.9 miles traveled there. I'm at 36%. I am plugged in now to a uh, gentleman's uh, old charge master, British Gas uh, charge point, seven kilowatt. Um, and I am servicing, servicing this. You might remember this one, actually. We service this, oh. Uh, maybe three months ago when we were last here and uh, this was in the background and we're servicing that today, MG ZSEV. Fantastic value for money EV, that is really good. They love the car and I can almost guarantee it won't need anything 
uh, it'll just be a straightforward minor service quick look at the brakes check the steering joints uh, we, we upgrade the pollen filters because the pollen filters aren't brilliant so uh, they're quite thin papery type so we put a, a carbon layer filter in instead um, which we offer and um, and that'll be it and that'll be my first job done okay that's it done um, these minor services normally take me oh, about an hour this one's took me two hours because I've been still talking, drinking coffee, too many coffees. Uh, but yeah, wanted for nothing, as you'd expect. It's only done 7,000 miles. Cracking, cracking EV, really good value. Um, and now I'm going off up to Glasgow. So uh, that's about 45 minutes away. So I've got another job up there. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm just here now doing this Tesla Model X. Uh, this is just a service, not a brake lubrication because um, he's had uh, a new set of discs and pads from the dealer, £1,000. Very expensive, but uh, I did quote him on that and told him what he could have saved and he said, we'll use you next time. So, um, nothing much on it. It has got two squeaky top arms though. These, uh, these top arms are quite common. Um, these ball joints in here, no grease nipple and sadly they, uh, they dry up and then they start to squeak. and. It's just not really consistent with the car. It's not really what you want. So you turn the steering and you get this creaking noise, but there's no play in them. So he's he's quite happy to, to carry on with them. And I suppose he'll get them done in, in time. But yeah, this is nearly done. Um, I'm just doing the under bonnet checks now and then um, I'm gonna send it on its way. Right, folks, that's that Model X done. So I am now heading to uh, Bishopton which is 18 miles, 24 minutes. I did charge while I was here as well. I'm back up to 53% now. So I think it's just gonna be a day of scavenging electrons off uh, my customers, but it certainly makes it work for us. So I don't need to stop and, uh, and charge at any rapids anywhere. So anyway, right, so I'll see you in Bishopton for a Nissan EMV 200. Here I am with uh, Nissan EMV 200. Uh, really good condition um it's uh it's used as an electrician so um works hard it's fully loaded um and he works all around glasgow it works perfectly for him so he's well happy with it so just um got the front wheel off near side there uh, just going to do a brake lubrication service on it um, and he's got a little bit of a slack handbrake so i think one of the uh one of the handbrake arms has seized up but more importantly than all that is one my van is on charge with the zappy just there and look at that homemade victoria sponge and a brew scottish hospitality you cannot beat it anyway catch you in a little while all right folks so i've just finished the amv now um it's always a job that goes a bit wrong and this is that job first of all there i just want to show you my knees so yeah i know i've got shorts on but i've been working on these for oh about three hours so um we're doing the brakes major service Handbrake cable seized up on both sides, really seized. They're stupidly expensive as well, and I haven't got one, so I had to get his handbrake working, um, and we managed to do it. It just took a lot of work, a lot of pulling, and a lot of dirt up and down my arms. Um, but yeah, it's done now, fully loaded with kit. It's a real hard working van. Saves the guy nearly 200 pound a month in fuel. He had a uh, Vivaro diesel before, um, and he makes do with this, and it's uh, it's a good, good bit of kit for him, and he really likes it. So. Hi folks, so I've just finished that EMV now, so I've got uh, 32 miles to go to my next job, so I'm going to get there about 10 to 6. It's a Model 3 uh, brake lubrication service, I think. Uh, that job there with the EMV did go quite wrong. Um, they're usually pretty straightforward, but um, yeah, it just wasn't to be for wasn't to be for that job so um, yeah unfortunately it's, uh, it's took a lot longer but it's done now so he's happy I'm happy it's done and uh, we're on to our next job so I'll see you there so I'm in Netherburn I've um, got this uh, Tesla Model 3 uh, standard range rear wheel drive um, it was booked in for a brake lubrication service because it's a couple of years old now but um, Actually, it, uh, it doesn't need it at all. It's done like 7,000 miles, so I managed to talk him out of that. Um, weirdly, it had the wrong wiper blades fitted, so I fitted him a set of wiper blades. Not because they're worn out, just because they're insecure. They, I picked it up to test one and it just fell off in my hand. Um, everything's pretty much as you'd expect. Um, just got the pollen filters to do, which I'm going to do now. Um, and that's it. And then I can head back to the hotel, which is... Uh, 
other side of Glasgow. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Didn't quite go to plan, but we've got four jobs done, so that's good. And uh, that's it. Morning, folks. So today I am going to Dunbarton, I think it is, somewhere just north of Dunbarton. Uh, I've got 37% state of charge and the van has done 504.1 miles, so it's doing quite well. Uh, I've got a Nissan Leaf for a major service, so that's all the brake strips, handbrake sorted out, all that business. So, yeah. That's going to be my first job of today. T today hopefully will be a little bit more manageable. Yesterday was a bit of a stress. I crammed four jobs in, which I wouldn't ordinarily do, but it just, you know, like I say, trying to cater for everybody is quite difficult. But yes, I will see you at my first job. All right, this is my first job of the day. So 2016 Nissan Leaf, 30 kilowatt hour. Did a quick Leaf Spy. Um, 85.17 I think it was so about to lose this first bar but still it's done just over 50,000 miles doing the brakes brakes actually I've done the other side brakes are in fantastic condition so really good and um, and there's not much else to tell you about it apart from it's uh, a well used well worn car but it's wearing quite well so it's doing okay anyway um I'll be finished here in about 45 minutes and then I my next job's not till three o'clock this afternoon i don't know why i booked it like that but there'll be a reason so i'll see you there welcome back so i'm here now just uh doing this renault zoe um i was originally using the guy's charge point which is just there with my adapter but uh it started making a bit of a random noise so we decided to uh to end that and i've got enough anyway and i can always just stop off at a uh a rapid if need be just doing the brakes now um the brakes are absolutely fantastic they really don't wear out on these i'm going to say these are better the setup's better than the leaf and these rear drums on the back just they seem to last forever so quick look make sure the wheel cylinders are okay and get any rubbish and dirt out and and that's pretty much all you'll need but more than that is uh if i come around here this is what happens which isn't too much of a hardship i'll tell you so i'm gonna tuck into some uh, some dinner and uh, i'll see you guys in a bit morning folks so i've had a lay in this morning it's been nice didn't get out of my bed until quarter to nine and uh took a slow walk around for breakfast so that's been great uh van is on 604.5 miles we're in edinburgh a premier inn um by the cuddy bray Cuddy Bray pub uh, yeah so last night I missed dinner at the hotel at the uh, restaurant there so I had to go and get some food and so I did a quick rapid on an Osprey unit and I'm now at 87% so 43,148 all going well so first job of the day is in the center of Edinburgh and it is a Volkswagen e-golf uh, major service and a brake fluid change we'll see about the brake fluid I bet I don't need it but but we'll do it if he wants it so right that is according to 5.4 miles away so it's going to take me about 15 minutes so i'll see you there right so we've got his volkswagen e-golf this is a uh, major service brake strips uh it's having a brake fluid change as well got the pollen filter in there um got a set of wipers if it needs it uh so i'm just gonna crack on with this because i do have three jobs to do today um, so I need to get through them and then I think from here I think I'm going to Aberdeen so which is a good you know couple of no not a couple of hundred which is a good uh, 100 miles up the up north so I really need to um, I really need to get the finger out so right I'm gonna crack on with this I'll catch you in a bit hi folks so that is that Volkswagen e-golf done and it didn't want for anything uh, 15 and a half thousand miles in perfect condition uh, literally we did our normal uh, pulled the brake pads out cleaned all the pads up lubricated them um, on all four corners uh, pollen filter all the normal bits and bobs and I rotated the tires because he's got a little bit more wear on the front the front wheel drive stuck them on the back and pulled the backs to the fronts and that is all it needed great EVs them Eagles really like them uh, so now I'm driving through the centre of Edinburgh I've got I'm uh, 
battery state of charge, 97%, and I'm driving to a place called Haddington, which is east of Edinburgh, I believe, and about 70 miles away. So I'll be there at about half one. I've got a Tesla Model X 100D or P100D that wants a brake lubrication. So that's all the brakes stripped, cleaned up and lubricated. So yeah, I'll see you there. All right, that's me here with this uh, Model X 100D. Now it's done just shy of 20,000 miles, 19,714. And uh, I pulled the caliper up and again, We've got this. This is just typical. It's not an amazing design. Um, these are a real tight fit from new and of course Tesla aren't putting anything on these. There's no copper ceramic on the side of the pads to stop this reaction. So again, I've got this. I'm half expecting that when I pull that pad out, it's cracked due to the deterioration and the, the corrosiveness that's going on down the side. So it might end up with a new set of pads. So there's no way in the world that pad has been moving. Not a chance. So what you're gonna have had there is F brake effort on one side of the disc, and then of course nothing on the other. So which ultimately ends up with a set of warp discs. I'm just gonna scrape this away and see if the pad's cracked underneath because it's quite common. Actually it hasn't. Have a look of it. Try the other side. Hopefully, he's got away with this. If I can save him a set of front pads. That'll be uh, that'll be good. Nah, no, they're okay. He's lucky because ultimately, what would have happened is they would have cracked up and. Uh, Vended up with a new set, so I'm going to get these cleaned up. Um, I'm going to file all the crud off. Um, I'm going to go down here and get all this off as well. You can you can see that just falling away there. Uh, and then we get some copper ceramic in there, put them back together, and that'll be his brakes as good as new. So the uh, Model X actually ended up having a set of front pads because uh, when I looked at the other side, they were absolutely scrap. Uh, but also, when I inspected the linings properly, the lining is sort of worn like that. So the brake pad would have been doing this constantly. And, and there was a massive difference between the two pads in terms of uh, lining depth. So yeah, chucked a set of pads in for him, showed him and he was happy with that. Uh, a bit of a side effect of this lovely weather we've got up here and me and my shorts, I'm constantly trying to wash my knees. My knees are covered in dirt constantly these massive black patches all over them so uh, yeah that's one side effect but I'm not gonna moan because I am in shorts and t-shirt it's 17 degrees it's practically tropical up here people walking around in shorts with no tops on and all sorts um, just now I'm heading to uh, Bl uh, Upper Blan Blainsea I think it's called uh, it's only 4.7 miles away now uh, it was about 20 but I've done a few miles uh, going to be there in 10 minutes, that's for a Tesla Model S uh, micro switch on the door. Uh, so one of the door handles is, is presenting but it's not opening. So it should be quite a straightforward job, it usually takes me about an hour and a half. Uh, and then that's it, I'm done for the day and I'll be heading up to Aberdeen. So that's where we're at so far. 61% uh, state of charge, 658.7 miles covered and 43,203 miles on the van. Van's doing well, everything's going to kiddie boo. So, excellent, I'll catch you in a little while. So I'm here now in Upper Blainsley, I think it is, I can't pronounce it. Not very good with my uh, Scottish pronunciation. Uh, van's on charge, which is fantastic. Just under that cover is uh, Lancia Beta. Beautiful, I've had a look at that. A nice old car and uh, in really good condition. Anyway, let's go around to the car. So I've just stripped down this door here. Um, we've got a, a micro switch out of it there, um, which is this one just here, which if I pick that door handle up, you can see that's this one here brings it to a certain point and then that's the release micro switch just there. So I'm just about to put one of those in um, and then uh, that should be done and I'll be up the road to Aberdeen. 
So all going okay so far. Um, guys brought me chocolate, as my customers often do, and I've had two fantastic cups of coffee, so all good. Anyway, I'll see you in Aberdeen. All right, folks, I've uh, had to stop off at Prince's Street uh, Hub, which is absolutely amazing. I love this place. Chargers everywhere. Uh, there's a constant supply, not a constant supply, a constant uh, stream of taxis coming in and out. When I pulled in, there was one. Uh, about 10 minutes ago, there were six all lined up. Um, and they're just absolutely making use of what's going on here. So much so, I've been talking to this taxi driver here. This guy's called Stuart. Um, and he used to drive a Skoda, Skoda Octavia. Did you say Stuart? Skoda Octavia. What does this save you a month driving this? About 75 quid a month. 75 quid a month. 75 quid a month every month. Doesn't charge at home, simply charges here. What's it like to drive compared to the Skoda? Would you, do you prefer driving this to the Skoda? Yeah, definitely. Good, excellent. Um, what will you replace this with, do you think, if you upgrade it? Or any plans to upgrade it? I quite like the, the, the Kia Nero. That's, that's a nice electric car. Yeah. It will be an electric car. MG5? Have you looked Possibly. at that? Yeah. No, not really. No, no, no big one. But no. I, like, I quite like the Nero. Nero, popular car. Good range as well. Two, two, plus 200 easily. So, yeah. You'll be coming in here once a week, won't you? <laughs> so, excellent. Well, thank you. Nice talking to you, mate. Yeah. Nice one. Thanks yeah. for that. So this, this is what it's all about. These guys are just literally running a fleet of taxis. There's another one just pulled in here. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, more news for you. So just here, you might recognize this chap. This is Bob Murphy, Evolt. You've seen that car before in our previous videos. Now, I've had a little bit of trouble with charging on these chargers while I've been up in Scotland. I've had a few problems with my RFID card. The app's not been working, but Bob's just been telling me what's happening how good it's getting so you gave me a date didn't you that things were going to get better july july yeah. so july this guy's fixing it hopefully <laughs> so um what 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 are you implementing bob what's what's going to happen so basically um charge by scotland uh, is the operating system or the operating or the network operator for scotland um, the network operator is changing from july and it's going to be taken over by swarco uk uh, so swarco uk of course who i work for just now and uh, we'll be taking over the network in Scotland from July. Uh, we spent today training up our service centre staff on how to use chargers from the driver's point of view so they get to experience it, you know, so they know how to help people. And yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. There's going to be a new app for drivers, there's going to be a, a new service centre based in Dundee, uh, the Michelin, so Michelin Scotland Innovation Park. There's going to be yeah, a whole raft of changes to make the driver experience better. Brilliant. So is it fair to say that we won't have app problems, RFID problems, and everything's going to work seamlessly? I can't guarantee there will not be problems. There's, no. there's likely to be problems, um, but we will be, our our goal is to provide a gold standard service for everybody that's using the network. So that's going to be commercial, fleet, private. Um, we're just, you know, we, we're approached it from the point of view of us being EV drivers ourselves. Yeah. We want to do it better and make sure that it helps uptake of vehicles going forward as well. Brilliant. So that is wicked news. So this is all going to be sorted out, which is great because what we need is reliability. And this man's sorting it. So thumbs up to that. <laughs> Cheers, Bob. Cheers. Morning, folks. Uh, so a little bit of a late one today. Um, had a little bit of a lay in, didn't get out of my bed until what, 10 past nine. Missed breakfast, which wasn't amazing, but I was, I was late getting to the hotel and I was just a little bit wacko jacko. So um, here with this Nissan Leaf, uh, customers in south of France, so they're living life. Um, uh, it's a major service. Uh, he asked to check the reduction gear oil, which I have done, and it doesn't need changing. Although it's gone over 60,000, it's still really clean. So I'm going to guess it might have been done in the past because normally around that sort of mileage, they're... Uh, they're starting to show signs of quite heavy wear. Um, a couple of things common on the leaf. Uh, the front fog lights come loose. Uh, this fog light uh, just here was uh, was flapping around in the wind. So I've clipped that back in for him. Easy job. Um, one of the brake lines at the back has got a little bit of corrosion. So I've cleaned it up and put some uh, protective grease over it uh, just to keep that happy. And the pollen filter was uh, particularly bad. Uh, doesn't look like it's ever been changed, but that's pretty standard. The leaf's done. Uh, took a little while longer. 
the brakes were particularly bad on the the offside rear i ended up having to set the carrier off get it in the vice and do all that sort of business with it but more importantly than that is we've charged while we've been at the guy's house obviously we have, we'll pay for this we'll deduct it from his bill if he so wishes um i've took 17.85 kilowatt hours but more importantly 76 percent of it was green and that's because he's got solar. I'm not sure what size array he's got. I'm not sure if he's got a power wall tucked away, but 76% has come from not the grid. Well, folks, so that's me now at, uh, I'm in Aberdeen somewhere. Um, I've got a Tesla Model S for brake lubrication service. Uh, and you can tell by the weather it's honking it down so and i'm in my shorts and uh t-shirt and my little body warmer but it doesn't matter because if i just walk like this I've got a huge garage to work in this is absolutely perfect you couldn't have timed this job any better because it's, it's coming down quite heavy now um also my van's on charge which is good got a seven kilowatt rolex just up in the corner there and and sorry and sorry. this lady's just I, I am sorry. this is just typical scottish hospitality it's brought me a brew and look at this i can't help eat yourself. all that is that millionaire help shortbread with, yeah. just help this is just we have no this is just what happens here so anyway garage. i'm gonna crack on this is uh, an interesting one because normally uh, I get a Model S with the uh, with the brake lubrication and I really come unstuck, like massively. Anyway, so um, I stripped down this uh, offside front first um, and the pads literally fell out. I was like, oh. So I cleaned them up, lubricated them, put them all back in, made them look all shiny, as you do. And then I went to this offside rear uh, and they were in such good condition and still lubricated and the guy is adamant it's never had any work done anywhere. So he thinks this is original from the factory. Um, so I've come around, I've looked at this one, and then I've come around and looked at this one. Now I've already quoted him for doing the job. We have a sort of a fixed price, but how do you charge somebody for that? I can't charge him what I was gonna charge him. I haven't had to do as much work. So I'm probably just gonna charge him for doing the front beam. So that'd be half what he was originally gonna pay. So yeah, I'd rather do that. And well, he'll be happy because he's paying less and I feel better because I don't feel like I've had a customer's pants down. So yeah, anyway, this is, I'm just gonna put this wheel back on, um, torque all the wheels up and then put the caps back on. And then that's it, ready to go. That'll be me finished and uh, end of the day at a decent time. And uh, I'm gonna have an early night, I think. So that's it, leave you with it. Morning folks, so Aberdeen again. Uh, first job today, 25 miles away, 16 miles away, 25 minutes in a place called Elon, 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 north of, um, uh, north of Aberdeen. 80% uh, on the gasometer, 864.1 uh, miles covered so far. Uh, so I've got two jobs here today. Uh, one's a Tesla Model 3 with a brake lubrication. The other one, can't remember. And then I'm heading south to Leven, Leven, somewhere like that. So yeah, uh, it's 18 degrees, so I'm gonna take my jacket off. I do not need this on. So, so far my week is going okay. Uh, Van's doing a, a great job. It's doing everything I need it to do and I'm topping up at people's houses, which is nice. So, right, I'll see you there. All right, folks, so uh, I'm in a place called Udney Station near Ellen, or Elon, it looks like when you look at it on the map. Um, I've got this uh, Tesla Model 3 here, which um, we're just doing a brake lubrication on. Um, now the brake pads themselves are in quite good condition, but what we found is with a lot of these Model 3s, especially the performance models, is uh, the rear discs are starting to look like this, which this car has done 5,100 miles and they are absolutely horrendous. Now that's not lack of use. This is, there's actually ridges in the disc here. So you've got a high point here, here, here and here. And this is actually the contact area that's doing the braking. So this is not good and doesn't bode well for cars that are, are gonna do the high mileage. So I think we're gonna see a lot of these that are gonna need replacing. Uh, and just aesthetically, it looks awful. So I can't, I can't think that these brakes will be working as effectively as they should do based on the contact area. So yeah, not great. If I come around to the pads and just show you the pads, the pads actually have got plenty of meat on them. You can see the pad in there. I'm going to take these apart in a second, but 
you can see that there's plenty of meat in there but yeah it's not uh, it's not looking great so anyone with a Tesla Model 3 especially the P models look in for your brakes doing this right I'm gonna crack on see you in a bit all right so that is that Tesla Model 3 done uh, it took a lot longer than expected because too much talking and I'm now heading to a place called Bodoin, I think. Aboin, Aboin. I can't, I can't pronounce it. 49 minutes, 36 miles away, uh, and that's for a Tesla Model 3 that needs. No, it's not. And that's, and that's for a Renault Zoe. Just wants a minor service, so nice, easy job to finish off the day. So excellent. I'll see you there. Hello folks, so I am in a place called Des, uh, which I can only describe as the arse end of nowhere. Literally, everywhere I look is hills and trees. It's beautiful though, it really is. I mean, this is peaceful life. Absolutely fantastic. So my customers today, before I even start work, I'll get given these two apple pies. Keep them in the van, they say. And they say, do you want some food? I'm doing some steamed chicken and potatoes and all that business. And they've given me cream cake. I've got a brew down there. They're really looking after me. Uh, they're letting me charge the van, which is lovely. Um, and I'm here servicing this ZE50 Renault Zoe. So fantastic. It's only done 7,000 miles. So there is not really anything to talk about. More interestingly is that we've got one of these coming as a van to try it out for a week to see how we get on. Uh, and I'm kind of hoping it's got that spec. I don't think it's going to have, but the screen, the infotainment, the Apple CarPlay, heated seats. I love these seats. Fantastic. Uh, it's been a while since I've driven one of these. And uh, yeah, it's very, very nice. Beautiful colour. But um, yeah, as you'd expect, based on the fact it's done hardly any miles, there's not really much to talk about on it. But uh, yeah, lovely car. They also own a Kia Soul EV, so they're a full electric family. I can imagine that between that and that, there's some competition. I mean, which one would you choose to drive? Well, I don't know. I prefer the colour of that. I know the range is better on that. I don't know. I'm looking forward to driving one as a van anyway. All right, folks, I'm back again. Uh, so I was leaving uh, and the guy had previously said to me, do you want something to eat? And I was like, no, no, no. I've got the apple pies. I've had the cake and biscuits and, and whatnot. I'll be fine. He's made me dinner. So I'm now going to eat this before I go anywhere. Steamed chicken potatoes, vegetables, all good stuff. I think it's just being in Scotland. The hospitality is just on another level. So that is amazing. Do not judge the state of my van. I know it's disgusting. You don't have to tell me, but that is wicked. So I'm going to eat that. I'm going to head down to Levin. I'll see you there. folks and today is Friday so just sort the GoPro out let me give you a quick update on where we are on the van we are at 1013 miles 43,557 and I have just arrived at my first customer's house just gone 10 uh, normally I like to get here for 10 for my first job but um, a little bit of a delay getting breakfast this morning at the premiere in so Right, uh, let me show you what I've got on. I've got first job, Tesla Model X. Uh, you might recognize that, belongs to John Van Deken, JVD, on the registration. That one is for a brake lubrication service only, so we want some brakes doing. The Model X is really suffer with the uh, with the pad seasoning. So front and rear, all the way around, so that'll be that one. And then, sorry about the wind, it's quite windy here, it's by the coast. And then we've got this uh, red uh, Nissan Leaf, which belongs to his son, which is fantastic. So red Nissan Leaf, and that one is for a major service. So the Tesla is gonna take me about an hour and a half, depending on the state of the brakes, because sometimes I do get caught out with those. Uh, and the major service on that takes me about two hours. That's all the brake stripped as well, so. Um, I finished the Model X, which is just up the way here. Sorry about the wind, folks, just up there. 
Turns out a new set of front pads because one of the uh, one of the pads on one of the calipers was completely gone. Uh, just doing this leaf now. I've got done most of it. I'm just about to take the wheels off and uh, strip the brakes, which is going to take me a good hour and a bit. So I'm running late already. But again, guys, done me a uh, couple of mini jabatas. Absolutely fantastic. So I don't need to give myself any food. I'm being really well catered for again. Anyway, from here, I'm down to Edinburgh. Uh, got a drop down there. So I'll probably see you there. That's why I take the glove box out because you never know what's behind it. Always something unexpected. So some, somebody has gone in there, broke the clip, and then stuck electrical tape around the back. So it wasn't really holding the, uh, the cover on. So this is nearly done actually. I've got a few more little bits and bobs to do, and I'll just show you it. I'm just uh, topping up my chariot, uh, which is just here on uh, the gentleman's zappy. You see nothing coming off the grid there because he's got 10 kilowatt hours of uh no he's got 20 kilowatt hours for, he's got 28 kilowatt hours Absolutely. of storage in fact for uh, his two power walls air source heat pump solar pv it's got it all going on so and this is said leaf just here which is nearly finished so from here i'm going to uh, I'm going to South Edinburgh. I've got a Renault Zoe with a knocking noise, which um, I think is anti-roll bar drop links. I'm hoping it's anti-roll bar drop links. It normally always is. Uh, and that'll be the end of my day. And then I'm staying in East Fife tonight. So, all right, let's get on up the road. See you in a bit. All right, folks. So that's the last job of the day done. It's five past seven. So just done that Renault Zoe just there. Uh, it's one that we've done before. Put a link pin on it for a uh, put a, a bottom arm on it for her, did a brake fluid change about oh, this nine months ago maybe, no six months ago, something like that. Um, so yeah, a couple of those, so they're happy. And the van, so it's to show you what's what. So far, stop that bleeping. So far we have done 1,059 miles. Uh, we've got 111 left on the uh, GOM. Um, I've been hooning it a little bit today. Um, and so far 43,603 miles with an average of 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour based on all the miles I've done since we upgraded the battery. So uh, yeah, all good. Right, I'm off to my hotel. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Morning. So today is Saturday and it's my last day. So I'm gonna be getting back to the girls and uh, well, I'll be back to the back home uh, probably, I'm gonna take an educated guess and say midnight tonight so it's still going to be a very long day and I think it's about 400 miles home but before that I've got a Nissan Leaf for a minor service which is nice and easy uh, and it's two miles away from where I am I stayed in uh, Premier Inn in East Fife last night Cadger's Bray pub next to it really great food uh, it was really nice nice and quiet so uh, yeah it's been good had a good night's sleep um, and yeah just two miles down the road for this uh, this Nissan Leaf so I'm gonna get a move on because I wanna get home. Obviously I've been away all week, so I will see you there. All right, that's me just servicing uh, this Nissan Leaf 65 plate. Uh, interestingly, I've just done a pollen filter for the lady and that's the shape of it. So I think you can imagine that it's not really doing very much. That's just a lack of attention to detail that is. I mean, just, it takes two minutes to put that in properly. That's been sat in there for since it was last serviced uh, and basically would have been doing very very little which isn't the idea of a pollen filter also though uh, sorry about the wind we're on top of a hill there's uh there's a clip that, that goes up the back here um in that space you probably can't see it and it's just not there which is something else i find regularly so uh, i've asked the lady to order one and i've told her that next time i'm up here in about uh seven weeks i'll um I'll come and pop it on for her. But in the meantime, I've got some super duct tape, which I'll put over the back of the panel, over where, where the panel goes, and uh, that'll uh, that'll seal it up. So, a bit temporary, I know, but it'll do the job. I'm regularly using this stuff on these clips. They're nearly always broken. Sometimes uh, I have to do things that uh, 
you wouldn't think were part of a service. This is actually quite bad. Down here uh, and down here, is, you get a drain off for the ducting uh, for the scuttle panel inside. And if they block up with leaves, ultimately it, uh, it fills with rainwater. Quite common on the Renault Zoe, this is. You don't see it so much on the leaves, but this is bad. So, a uh, bit of preventative maintenance, I suppose. Hoover it out. Tra -ra! All done. That'll probably keep it uh, going until next winter, where. Uh, that tree will drop all its leaves straight back into it and uh, I'll do it again for its, uh, its next service, which is a major next year. So, yep, looking good. Right folks, so that's that leaf all done. A uh, bit of hoovering um, and a few other odds and sods. Uh, and now I'm driving 0 0.8 miles to a Tesla Model 3. So this is gonna be a big job. It's gonna take me a while, but they are uh, they are quite sought after at the minute. I'm doing quite a few of these um, Tesla frunks and trunks. So I'll see you at that job. All right, so I've made a boo-boo, a massive boo-boo. Um, I'm sat next to a lovely Tesla Model 3 Performance in blue, um, and the guys expected me to fit a frunk and trunk kit uh, with a kick sensor. Anyway, gone into the back, pulled out my two boxes, and I bought the wrong ones. Both are the wrong ones. So I don't know how I've done it, but I have done it. His actual right ones are in my hallway. Um, so I've just picked up the wrong boxes and chucked them in the back, I think. But um, fortunately the guy is uh, very nice and he just said, it's fine, it happens. So I'm back here in about seven weeks. Um, so I'm gonna do them then. Um, so not ideal, but uh, he's he's okay with it, which is great. Um, and he let me charge, which is nice. So I've been plugged in for about 45 minutes and he made me a coffee and uh, he's been a very nice customer. So uh, I'll reschedule that and uh, we'll be back here uh, in seven weeks. So I'm heading home now. Home is 332 miles, five hours and 24 minutes without charging. I've got 72% state of charge at the moment, so clearly that's not gonna be enough to get me that far. Uh, so it'd probably be, I'm gonna say at least two rapids on the way home. So, right, let's get going. Abington charging, uh, free vend on that just there, and somebody waiting. And if you look just behind Sedley, there is a JCB digging some holes and moving some stuff. I am hopeful that that is new chargers. So it'd be nice if they could have four, maybe five down here with their new type of rapids. That would be splendid because this is a regular stop off for us. Um, I'm going to move out the way for these guys. I currently have. 83% van's done 1139.6 miles and let's check see how hot the battery is oh it's not too bad at the moment i'll get another rapid in there before it uh, it tells me it's too hot Welcome back, that is me at Lancaster Park and Ride. I'm just using using one of these uh, BP Pulse 50 kilowatt machines. There's one, two, three, six of them lined up. I've now got that warning on the dash, which is my hot battery. So, but the way I see that is, it can get a bit hotter. There's still a little bit more on there. Uh, that means my charge rate's gonna slow down. I've took 23.7 kilowatt hours and I've been on 45 minutes, so I'm at 
Uh, I really need it to be 90 to get me a decent distance. So I'm going to be here a little while longer yet. There's me, wanted to be home by seven. Never mind. Okay, I'm on the M6 now, um, just south of Leicester, uh, Lancaster Services. Now, the sat-nav uh, Google Maps had worked me out to go all the way down to Coventry and then back up the M69, which is quite a long route. So I've adjusted it so it's gonna take me through Cannock, and that's working out to 135 miles. The Garmin's telling me 131, and I've got 84%, I think. I can't, I can't be charging again to get home. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get home now until nine o'clock if I don't charge, if I do charge again, which is gonna be difficult because the battery is cooking. Uh, I'm gonna be really late. Um, so I'm gonna try and slipstream something. In fact, I'm definitely gonna slipstream something and try and get the best economy out of it I can. Uh, it's, sort of, it's averaging 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, which is what it does but I'm kind of hoping that with a bit of a bit of eco driving I can uh, I can get it back so 134 miles to go two hours and 31 minutes gonna get home at quarter to nine let's see what happens it's telling me there that I've got zero miles like it does boost your confidence for sure and uh, 13% just there. So far I've done 132.6 miles with 11 to go now. I think it's fair to say that this is going to be a bit close to the bone. folks so this is my state of affairs at the moment nothing in the battery nothing on the range and I've got zero power Okay, that's me at home. I've just made it. Uh, the distance that I travelled there was 144.6. That was from 91% state of charge. Uh, you can see that I've averaged 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. No miles left, nothing here, and down to three bars of power, which will give me about 22 miles an hour. Uh, turtle mode on, but all pretty standard. Not really too stressed about that. But what does worry me is if I flick on, the well, way you can see there, that's the battery. If I flick on a few there, the battery hasn't cooled down. And that worries me going forward because it's 17 degrees. Admittedly, it's been a little bit warmer. So this week has been 1,406.5 miles. And that's not too dissimilar to a normal week down in England. I, I always cover a thousand, minimum of a thousand. So. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me. Uh, I'm sorry it's a bit of a long video. I could not squeeze 1,406 miles and 20 jobs into 14 minutes. So apologies for that, but I hope you watched it till the end. And remember, click the adverts, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time in another episode. Bye for now.